I'm checking out the brand new voice control feature with the DJI Neo. This brand new voice control feature gives us a brand new way to interact with our drone and it's my first time checking it out so I'm very excited to see what features we have available. To enable the voice control you just have to power on the drone firstly and then connect it up via the DJI Fly app. Through the DJI Fly application once you've connected it up to the Neo and you're into this interface here you'll see there's a little speech bubble there so I can press on that and it will bring up the voice control option. So I can click on check settings and it will give me some options here. So it will say voice to wake up. So initiate voice control with a wake word. Do not turn off the screen or switch to other apps during this process. The wake word is hey fly. Here. So at any point I can say hey fly and it will bring up the voice control. There is a narrator that will talk to me and they'll basically say, yeah, let's do it. What do you want to do? So that's really handy. You can do that at any point throughout the app interface. And it'll give you some common commands here. So we've got a few recording options. So we can just say follow, we can say droney, circle, rocket, spotlight. Uh, we can then say some specific things like close follow, four meter droney, two meter circle, six meter rocket. That's some of the examples there. You can use it for really any of the options available to you, which is very cool. Then when we go to following, we can then just say something like closer. We want it to come closer. So mid-flight, it looks like we can actually have some more control over the drone, which is really cool. And then some safety options. So you've got land, brake, and stop. So I am very curious to see straight up if I can say, hey, fly. Go ahead. What can I do? Okay. I thought it was going to give me maybe some prompts when I said that, um, but let's just start the process. So, hey, fly. Here. Take off. Got it. So that's all I have to do. <laughs> hey, fly. Land. Here. Got it. Landing. Oh my goodness. That was, uh, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> so it just went off on its own. It's quite windy actually. I thought I was gonna be protected here. Um, but yeah, I can give it the prompt to land and it did come back to me, which is cool. I thought it was just gonna land over there. So you do have a bunch of different options here. So I can just say, uh, for example, let's just go with, hey fly, follow. Waiting for your command. Follow. Follow. Okay, so straight into the follow mode. Oh, it's really struggling with this wind. But it went straight into the follow mode and it's got a mean lean on it. So what I can say is, hey fly, Go ahead. further. Got it. Hey fly, higher, Here. higher. Okay. There you go. And so now it's doing its thing. And so for example, if I want to go, hey fly, Here. closer. No problem. So I've told it to come in closer. So now it's gonna start following a little closer now. So that's cool that mid flight, I can tell it what to do and it's gonna uh, do a few things for me. So I could just say, hey fly, hey fly, Here. break. Break. Got it. So it's now stopping. So it stopped recording. And that means it's going to not do its following mode anymore, but it's just going to hover there. So now if I say, hey, fly. Go ahead. Land. No problem. Landing. There you go. So it looks like we've got a bunch of different options here. It would be nice to be able to just say, hey, fly. Hey. Waiting for your command. What can I do? It would be nice to have like the entire list of prompts or just to be able to prompt it by saying, give me more, and then to have that entire list. But it does give you some examples and once you're used to it, um, you can go from there. So let's try the circle, for example. So, hey fly. Waiting for your command. Six meter circle. So it's doing it, it's doing its thing. Let's hope that uh, doesn't get caught up anywhere. No, it's looking pretty good. And so what's really cool is so I can just use my voice to jump to the next mode, right? I don't have to worry about fiddling around with anything. If I'm ready for the next shot, for example, so now I can literally just go, um, let's go with 
That's just come back to me. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, so, hey fly. Here. Follow far Follow. low. So I've seen it's going lower now, and now it should be at that far distance. So you can see I've just gone between the different modes, and now I can just mid-flight go, hey fly. Here. Higher. No problem. And so you'll see, just with my voice, I can get it on cue to go a little bit higher for me. If you are interested in the DJI Neo and you're based in Australia, you can check out the D1 Store's website, which is DJI Australia. You can use the code DANGETUBE over there to save on most drones, cameras, and accessories. And for my international audience, I'll have some other links down below to check out the Neo in your local area. The other thing to mention is that I am currently hosting a DJI Neo giveaway right now. So all you have to do, follow the link down below. If you sign up to the Fearless Drone Academy using that 50% off link, which is Neo 50, then you will go into a draw to win the DJI Neo. Hey fly. Here. Four meter droney. Droney. So it's come up, said droney four meters. And then so from here, it's gonna go up, do its thing. And then it will come back to me theoretically. Yeah, this works uh, quite nicely. It's relatively intuitive and I can go back. So I'm in that interface. Sorry, I was showing you that other interface the whole time. But so from this interface here, I can just say, hey, fly. Here. And it will just bring up the options, right? So the check settings is where I can see some other options, but I can just go, once I know it, into this interface here. I've got the drop down. So maybe for this one, for example, I might want to do, let's do a boomerang. So I'm going to go, hey, fly. Hey, fly. Go ahead two meter boomerang boomerang okay so it's gone for a four meter boomerang but still this should be pretty cool and so you can see it's uh tracking me this one will actually give me the audio which is very nice it's recording the audio from the microphone on the phone as well nice little revealing shot there we go beautiful and I love the little kind of uh, countdown that it does in the circle. And it lets me know what it's doing at all times. So at any point I can just go, hey fly. Here. Circle, circle. one meter. I don't think you can do one meter actually. So it's just gonna go probably with a two meter circle. There we go. So now we've got the audio again. Looks like it's about that two meter mark. It's recording doing its thing. So that's so cool, right? Like I'm getting the audio feed directly from my phone right now as I'm talking. And I found that when I reviewed the footage when I tested this a uh, couple of days ago, it does a really good job of isolating the audio, which is awesome. Hey, fly. Here. Follow. Follow. Okay, so it transitioned into the follow mode from the spotlight mode and it started recording again. So hey, fly. Okay. Higher. I love that. I love seeing it interact with my voice. I can then go, hey, fly, Waiting for your further turn. away. Okay. So now it's going to go with a further following, and I can go, hey, fly, go ahead. low. Lower. Got it. So now it's going to go a little lower. That's really cool. Love how that all works. If I go back, it's still recording and it's got the, uh, the microphone recording from my phone here, which is very cool. Hey, fly. Waiting for your Stop. command. Got it. And so if I say, hey, fly. Here. Land. Got it. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it just lands where it is. Droney six meters. Droney. Okay, there you go. Three, two, one. Yeah, nice. Here we go. So it's doing a trick six meter droney straight from my voice and uh, just hand launching it like so. And it's going up, doing its thing. It's recording. I can see it's doing a great job of tracking me. It's now recording again on the way down. And so once it's finalized the step here, I should be able to go here. Rocket six meters. Rocket. Okay. So once you get used to the flow of things, 
pretty easy just to do some of these different options. So it's doing a six meter rocket. It's definitely a little bit wobbly. I find it can be a little bit more wobbly when it does the rocket, when it goes directly up and looks down. Um, we've done a six meter one. It's now coming back down again. You can see it's swaying a little bit too much for my liking here. But still done the job. And it's kept it together, which is cool. Going back to its original point. By the looks of things, there we go. There it is again. Nice and simple. Higher. Okay. So it's going to go a little higher for me. And then I could go, hey fly. Go ahead. Closer. Got it. And it's going to naturally come in a little bit closer. Yeah, it does an awesome job, really. It does a very, very good job. And I love that I can just do things on the fly, hands-free, just hold my phone, you know, tell it what I want it to do, and it just keeps up with me. The voice control feature works really well. It has a bunch of different options. I love that we can go into the settings and see a few more options just to prompt us as to what to do and, and what I can uh, have control over. It seems like... For the following mode, you put it into the following mode, and then you have control to get it to go further away from you, come closer, go higher, go lower. So that's handy on the fly, especially while it's following you. If I notice that it's too close, or I notice that there's something around, I need it to come in really close to me to avoid some stuff. I love that I can just do that on the fly through the voice control option. I love that I can just tell it specific, so I can get it to do a particular move, so a rocket, and I can tell it to do six meters or 10 meters or whatever it is I want it to do. That seems to work really well. And then you've got the safety feature, so you can get it to land, brake, stop. And I also got it to take off as well when I just told it to take off. So it does a lot, and you've got the hay fly command that is very responsive, and uh, it seems to be quite a reliable feature. So this is more than a gimmick. I maybe thought at first it might be a bit of a gimmick, but this is actually super useful, especially the fact that you can adjust the following length and height mid-flight. That's super handy, um, and it doesn't disrupt the recording. It doesn't start a new recording. It just seems to continue, which is very nice. So anyway, guys, that's the voice control feature with the DJI Neo. Quite impressed with how it all worked and what we got from it. Very reliable, very responsive. The drone seemed to do what I told it to do, which is weird that I can talk to a drone and it copies me. It really is a little pet drone now at this point, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that's uh, what you can expect from the voice control mode. It is a very feature-packed voice control mode. It doesn't seem like there are really any limitations to it. It can do really all the maneuvers you need it to do. It listens to me when I need it to come back to me. And it was very reliable. So uh, yeah, well worth checking out the voice control feature on the DJI Neo. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to answer them. Have a fantastic day. Peace.